welcome back. Very exciting day today, video number 200. So, yes, exciting. So, let's do a huge haul. I have been building up to this one. Um, I have done similar sizes in my other pouring medium, my uh, Floetrol and glue and pouring medium mix. This one is just glue and water, so something very different for me on this size. Uh, so it is a 24 by 60 inch, which is 61 by 152 centimeters. So really big. It's a gallery wrapped canvas, so it's got nice deep sides. So about two, uh, maybe an inch and a half deep, about three centimeters deep. There are two cross pieces under here which I have folded up a puppy piddle pad, one of these, folded it up and put it underneath that uh, timber panel so that it doesn't dip in the middle. Okay, so 60% um, glue, 40% water in my mix, one-to-one -one paint to pouring medium. I've done my first row of paints. I've got eight paints. Uh, each cup has got 300 grams, so 150 grams of pouring medium, 150 grams of paint. Um, so that's 300 grams in each cup. So that's 600 grams of each colour times 8 cups, 6 eighths of 48, 4.8 kilos of mixed paint, you guys. Huge. I don't know what that is in ounces, I haven't worked it out. But um, So I have, as I said, I put my first row in. The next uh, row I will do for you so that you can see. I have put treadmill silicone in all the cups. And because the cups had 300 grams of each of, of paint, they've got 12 drops of oil in each 300 gram cup. All right, so this big cup here will go through once. I was going to do 10 cups and then I thought I better do an 11th cup just to make sure I don't run out. So I've got 11 cups. Righty-o, here we go. So I didn't want to waste too much time layering the first eight cups. And I had to do two cups of each colour because they just wouldn't fit into the one cup. So that's why I've got two of each colour. And I just did the first row first, off camera. Just to save a little bit of time, because it's probably going to be a long video anyway. And you, you know how to lay a paint. You don't need to see me do 16 cups, do you? I'll just do these eight for you. Uh, and the other thing I did do with off-camera, as you can see, my sides have been done. I made up an extra cup of black. So in all, I had three cups of black. That's on top of my 4.8 kilos. Extra cup of black. And I used probably half the cup just during those two edges. So I have got a little bit of black left in case of emergency. Because I always like to have a little bit left of some kind of paint, just in case. So I've got two blues, two turquoises, black and white, and then this metallic copper. So these have been my favourite colours all along. I started pouring with these about two years ago, these colours. I've got lots of paintings around my house in these colours. So, this big one's for me. Hang up in my lounge room, if it works, cross fingers. I'm a bit worried about it because I haven't done such a big one in glue before. I know I can do one this size in my other pouring medium. I'm just not that sure about this one, but hey, let's just do it. What's the worst can happen? I waste half a day mixing paint, waste four and a half kilos of mixed paint. Certainly experience, and I will learn from it, whichever way it goes, whether it works or not. And I'm happy to share that experience with you. Hopefully you guys can learn from, from this, whether it's a, a good pour or a bad pour, we'll, we'll figure it out together. 
So I've got silicone all in all my colours except the black. Once I flip the cups over, I'll tell you about the colours. They're sitting there on the side of the canvas. You will recognise them. They're the same ones that I always use. The first row that I did, uh, I didn't. I swapped this white for navy in my first row. So my first row only had one white and two navies. My second row has got two whites, one navy. I just wanted a little bit of extra navy. I was just going to have two whites and one navy in each and then I thought I really would like some extra navy. So I took one of the whites away and swapped it with the navy. I hope these cups are going to fit on my paint. I'm a bit worried now. I should do, hopefully. If it doesn't, I'm in trouble. So it's Saturday today, I have the day off work. It's a bit of an overcast, drizzly day here in Queensland, Australia. A couple of weeks to go till Christmas. So we're in summer, but as I said, a little bit of a dra drab rainy day so perfect for pouring it's taken me a while to layer all these paints actually these ones up here are getting quite full I'll have to put some more in these ones over here When I start at that end, they always have more paint in them and then by the time I get down here, this poor little guy on the end hasn't got much. I did start from this end with a few colours off film. So I'll do that again and start at this end. So that each cup will have a little bit of everything, otherwise I'm going to run out of room. Those cups up there won't have room for all of this other paint. This end one hasn't got much of the turquoise in it. Oh, they're getting full, you guys. Hope I'm going to have room. It's going to be close. Very close. These up the top here won't have very much navy though because they're pretty full already. Just a little bit of navy. This one can have some more, it's got lots of room. I was debating whether to put more than one lot of copper in, but I just want it as a little accent colour, so hopefully it will show up enough just to have that little pop of copper. Alright, two more. Some white. Oh, they're getting close, aren't they, to the top? This one here still needs a little bit more, so I'll give him quite a bit of white. And then these three on the end, they don't need that much. I'm going to have just enough room. Yay! I was worried there for a minute. I thought, oh no, my cups are going to overflow. Because when you've got them too full, it's really, really hard to flip them. They splurge everywhere when you've got cups that are way too full. So, worked it out well, didn't I? I did base it a little bit on my purple pour that I did. I had to go back and watch my purple pour video that I did for my daughter. It was the same length canvas as this one, but instead of being 60 long, it was only 50, so it stopped about there. And I used 10 cups for that. 
10 flip cups but I had quite a bit of paint left in my cup so I had to go back round again and I didn't want to do that with this so it's another reason why I added an extra cup so I've got the 11 cups legs 11 that's what they're doing bingo isn't it not bingo I don't get to play bingo very much but I do love it I had one game of bingo on the cruise didn't win anything I think I've only won something once. It wasn't a lot of money, but it was fun to yell out, bingo. Okay, I'm done. Wow, that was a mammoth effort. 4.8 kilos of paint. Wow. The only one that I've done bigger than this was my huge swipe that I did in blues. I did take that one as well, video it, so if you want to see it, go back and look at my earlier videos. Um, now, where will I put these? Put them out of the way for a minute. Actually, I'll just show them to you while I'm doing this. Metallic copper. This one is a blue I made myself. It's um, cool blue and cobalt mixed together. And then I've got my two turquoise. This one's Peacock and Marina. It's like a pale turquoise and an ultra pale turquoise. Black and white. Oh, gee, that's very dirty, my white, isn't it? And then, of course, my navy, my favourite navy, Deep Space. Okay. Phew, this is exciting. Let's do this. Oh, I splurged a little bit. One. Two, three, four, five. Now six has to go. I oh, can't even find a middle piece because they're there. Six. Start up this end. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Let's move them over a touch. And eleven. Just make sure they're evenly spaced. Got my sides done, so I don't have to worry too much about that. As you can imagine, I won't be tilting to the side very much. It's going to be very difficult. So I'm hoping just to tilt back and forward. I can tilt a little bit to the sides if I have to, but preferably not very much. I did spray all my cups with my silicone spray to help the paint release. Get as much out of it as I can. And then I just wipe those cups with my paper towel. That's my extra cup of white that I did. I was going to use it and then I thought, mm, I'd rather have more navy, so I took it out. So I've got that. I've got a little bit of black left if I need it. So those two are there as a just in case, as emergencies. Because um, as I said, I don't really know how much paint I'm going to need. Right, let's just get straight into this, hey? I'm hoping I'm going to have enough paint to get all the way down here. Cross your fingers for me. Please be a nice paw. Work for me. Right. Let's do this. Oh, I only used half of that. Oh my goodness. I have to go slower. I've got to be carried away. Go slower next time. That was a bit too slow. It's like Goldilocks. Too hot, too cold. Maybe a little bit faster and then slow down over here. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> it'll be what it'll be. Maybe if 
I slow down halfway through, hey? Like that. Otherwise, I've got lots of paint at the top and not much at the bottom. That one was terrible, Julie. Terrible. I said I was going to go fast and then I slowed down. There we go. By the time I get to the end, I'll have it down pat. Cells popping up. Goodness, this is taking a while, isn't it? What have I got left? Three. Oh, I'm glad I made 11 cups. Glad. I've got some gaps here. Such a long way to drag paint. 60 centimetres. I'm not used to that. You usually do a 30 centimetre or a 40 centimetre wide canvas. So 60 is really quite big. Pretty much getting all my paint out. Let's see if I can do this one, slow it down here so I've got more here. All right. to turn this so I'll be able to tilt towards you you'll see that fine tilting towards me maybe you won't see it so well I'm not sure but um, I'll do my best I certainly will do my best but you might not be able to see it when I've tilted this way it's about to see it but not maybe as good as you could normally now these little guys here you know what I'm going to do with those don't you Goodbye. Caterpillar. Oh, there's a fly in here. Do I want to do that one too? Yes. Get rid of him. Don't you sit on my paint fly. Shoo. Where's my swatter? Come here and get splattered. I'll keep my handy fly swatter around. I don't know how they get in here through into my studio, but they do. Um, okay. Got a little bit of areas here where I must have, well that's where I've kind of slowed down and it's made a bit of a ridge there with the paint. I'm going to tilt this way first because this, these bits here aren't as attractive but let's torch first. I'll shut up and torch, eh? It's going to take a while to torch because it's such a big area. It's going to go round and round as I always do. Pulse first with the heat, then stop, wait, have a look, see what's happening, see where else we need to go. So just lightly first, pop in bubbles. My tower of cups just nearly fell over. I'm going to get rid of them. Okay. This is nerve wracking. How's the cells looking? Okay, so in the areas where there's not much, I'm going to torch again. That one doesn't need any, that one doesn't need any. sure what it was going to do but the the cells are copper 
Those ones there. Aren't they pretty? They've made lovely cells. Um, copper, you may remember me saying, any metallics, they work a little bit differently, so um, they don't tend to stay in a nice round shape. Sometimes they kind of go a little bit wobbly, a little bit sort of, they don't have a distinct ring, I should say. So we'll see what happens. These ones up here are a little bit wobbly because the metallics, they kind of stretch a little bit more out of shape. But um, the rest of them, these white ones, look at those white ones. Oh, and these, you probably can't see them close up. That's, oh my goodness. <gasps> All right, shut up Julie, let's get tilting. Now I need to move some of these cups of paint. I'll just put them over here. Excuse me one minute while I move my empty cups out of the way so that I can tilt. So I'm gonna have to get behind the tripod. I've got the tripod on a table. And then I've got a set of, I've got my ladder so that I can climb up onto the table to check the, the camera. I've got my phone up there filming. Okay. Now, I don't want my head in the film either. Let's try this. Hopefully I'm not going to get my head in it. Oh my goodness, it's heavy. I'm going to have to go side to side. This is going to take a while, you guys. You might want to fast forward. So I'm going to have to hold on to the big push pins underneath, I think. And I'm going to have to just do a little bit of side to side. And go around the other side. I can't get to the other side because table's quite long. It's a two metre long table. Bear with me. Feel free to fast forward. As I said, this one's for me. It's huge. It's very expensive, so I am going to take my time. I don't want to feel as if I have to rush this because people are watching me. Okay, let's tilt it that way in a little bit. And go back around the other side. And back again. program. To one side, a bit of exercise, round the other side again. I can't even see what I'm doing, my goodness. Okay, now it's gone over in a couple of spots. I'm just going to help it over. Mm, there's my cup that's got a bit of paint left in it, this one. I'm going to pour, pour a little bit of paint here. It won't be staying, it's going to get tilted over anyway. Further over. Hmm. Do I want to go any further over? I think I do need to go a little bit further over. Oh, I'm just going to. 
paint's going to fall off my pillow pad here onto the floor if I'm not careful. I'm going to move back a bit. There we go. Stop paint. Um, got quite a lot of paint still here. It's going a little bit messy. I should try and tilt just a touch more off, I think. Methinks. Just to there. All right. Felt like a lot of paint. Ah, I just got the fly. Squashed you with painted fingers. Okay. That is one side done. Let's have a look at it. Hard to tell at the moment. I need to stretch it out a little bit more. All right, let's go. I've got the paint in the middle, so the weight of the paint's in the middle, so I just want to see if I can tip it over a little bit just to straighten up my lines. These are a little bit curvy here, but they should be okay. All right, let's go the other way. Gonna get to that corner a little bit if I can. And then run around and get the paint back again. Go back down that way, paint. I can't even see if I'm going straight. I think I am. I think I am, I think I am. Wow, that's a big job. Oh my goodness. Hope it's all right. Um, now, I'm going to go around there and hold that bit of paint over the edge. I've got a lot of paint. You know, I haven't been able to stretch it out very much because there's a lot here. I'm just wondering if I've got too much paint. But um, never having done one this size before, I really had no idea. Oops, I better stop this from running off my table onto the floor. Just fold that over. Okay. Uh, now, there's no way I can get to that corner. That's just going to be left black. I'm just going to go straight over. towards you guys and that is about it I think oh, my sides are done yay let's take this back just a touch okay how's it looking from up there you guys can't even see overall I don't know where to look first Oh my goodness. Um, what do you reckon? Probably need to, what can I do? I can't really do much more. The copper here, as I said with the copper, it's gone a little bit wobbly. Maybe I shouldn't have used copper. That area there, see the cells aren't nice and round, but that's, as I said, that's the copper. It just does that. Um, Move that down a little bit, maybe? No. I think I just have to leave it. What do you think? Do you like it? I love it. Love it. I do need to look at it from up there, though, so I can see the whole thing. Now, I'm just going to give it a torch, lightly. Pop some bubbles. Cells. I'm happy with. I'm happy with the background. Um, I do wish that. That's the only area there that bothers me, and that's the copper. And I knew it was going to do that. Probably should have left the copper out. 
but I did want that little hint of, of copper. Um, what else can I do? What else can I do? It's really too heavy for me to put my hand under and try and get it to that corner. I don't, I don't think I can do that at all. No, nope. <laughs> I'm just getting paint all over me. All right, I'm going to leave it. Um, let's have a look at my sides now. I'm going to take my black. What do you guys think? We should get fancy me. Do you like it? Building up to this for so long. Now it's over and I'm thinking, do I like it? Do I not like it? I think I do. They're never what you expect, are they, Pauls? They're just they're never what you expect. My sides are pretty much covered. Um, I think maybe I might have had a little bit too much paint. I haven't been able to stretch the cells that much. They're not huge. Just fill in that little corner there. That is beautiful. I will take the phone off the tripod in a minute and uh, bring it down so that you can see the whole thing and the sides as well because the sides are really gorgeous. I'm just going to run that stick along the bottom there to catch my drips. Do that all the way along. I managed to cover it really well actually when the sides are, are done. I've still got a little bit of black paint left. Alright, get these gloves off. I'll get up onto my ladder and have a look at it, then I can see if, if I need to do anything else to it or not. Oh, it's pretty from up here, looking down at the whole thing. I've got just the right amount of mix of colours, haven't I? I've got some light blue, some dark blue, little pops of black, little pops of white. The copper, copper's really showing through in some areas. Mmm, really like it. Okay. Now, can I take you in for a close-up? I probably can't really. Well, you can see the middle. <laughs> can't really see the whole thing. But um, I'm going to take the... I'll take my phone down. Try not to fall off the ladder. One, two, three. I'm down. Yay. Okay. Let's look at the sides. Sides are all covered. Look at this gorgeousness in here. Look at those cells. Oh, so pretty. Rings around them. Some of them have got a few colours in them. And caterpillars, you guys. Hardly any. I think maybe I saw one. That's the side. Coming around. It's the other side. That's where the copper hasn't really stayed in a nice round shape. As I told you, it wouldn't. I should have just left it out. I think I would have been happier without it. Okay, so that's that side. It's all covered. And there we go. These are pretty. Look at those little white ones there. These are nice, they've got a few colours in them. And then, what else can I show you? These ones, are we focusing? Those are pretty. You know, I probably only needed 10 cups. If I had 10 cups, I could have stretched it a little bit more, which meant my cells would have been bigger. I wasn't able to stretch it too much because I had so much paint on there. 
and there's the edge. So what do you think? I don't know how I'm going to photograph this. Normally I put things on the ground and then stand over them and photograph them. But I don't know how I'm going to do that today. I have to wait till someone comes home to help me lift it up off the table and onto the floor. Okay, so there you go. Mm, favorite areas up here, I think. These two, this area here, all those beautiful cells. Lovely. And there's not much copper. It's the copper, isn't it? Copper's doing my head in. Got some nice cells over here, though. These ones are quite nice with the copper. Nice copper band up there. So overall, I'm really, really happy with it. It was a huge challenge for me to do. I'm glad I did it. And um, have a go. Try something like this. Nice, big, challenge yourselves. If you're a newbie though, don't start off with something like this. It's way too big for a, a newie. Get some experience, start on the small ones. Once you think you've got the hang of it, go for it. Do a big one. Okay, so please subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can watch all my further videos. Uh, I will do another one like this, a, a matching one. And I'll probably take the copper out and add a little bit more navy. So watch this space. I'll do another one. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye for now.